everyone, Russell Engel here from Enforcer and the Dude. Myself and Paul thought it'd be pretty cool if we did a couple of little tech videos in between our main show, just to show you what goes on behind the scenes, both on the track and also mechanically. Now, the first one we'd like to do is about springs. A lot of talk about going to a linear spring from the dual spring and everyone's going, what's a dual spring? What's a linear spring? Well, we're gonna explain it. Again, as we do on the show, put it in layman's terms. Right, let's hop straight into it. Now, what have they been doing in previous years that have been giving teams like Triple Eight a pretty big advantage because they were pretty smart with it? Okay, the dual spring setup. Now, this was in the rear of the car. Now, what it was is exactly what it says, dual spring, two springs. So you have two linear springs, one stacked on top of each other, with a nice little cool slider device here that slides up and down as well, that takes a bit of the load and makes the progression of the springs very smooth. So very important part. Initial, initially, this was a bit of an issue because they used to stick and seize, and, but once teams got their head around it, this is a pretty cool device, got little bearings in there, and uh, so the operation is very a lot smoother. Right, so you've got the dual springs. What does it do? Well, basically, as it says, it gives you two springs in one. Why do you need two springs in one? Well, think of a car. Car brakes, starts coming into the corner. The highest load is on the entry of the corner. So you want the rear of the car very stiff. Nice and stiff, so you've got plenty of turn in, plenty of support in the rear of the car. Problem is, when you're coming off the bend, you don't want a stiff spring. Think of a drag car. You want the car to squat, all the weight go to the back, and then that way you've got maximum power down for those rear tyres, getting that 600 plus horsepower to the ground. So that's what this does. Stiff spring, this spring is an entry spring, so as you're coming into the corner, loads, but what happens then, it actually has a crack off, what they call a crack off point, and then goes into the secondary spring, which is softer, which allows it to go down. Let me show you on a graph. This is courtesy of Laurie from King Springs, who is an absolute legend. 90% of the supercar fields run on these King Springs, which are, funny enough, local company at Mullen Diner in Queensland as well. So here we have it. Right, this is a linear spring. So this is 2,000 pounds of spring pressure, and this is three inches of travel. So this is just a guide point and we've got Imperial just for the sake of it. So this is a linear spring. So this is your datum point. This is now what they've gone on to, one spring that supercars run on. Now the dual spring, what happens here is you'll see that going up into the travel, up to two inches of spring travel, it actually gets a lot stiffer than that linear spring. But as soon as it reaches a point, and this point, thanks to this little sleeve here, can be adjusted. So you've got a crack off point. So you can adjust that to be further around the corner, into the corner, so wherever you want. So the smart guys know exactly where they want that second rate to crack into. So this is it, and that's the second rate, but you see it goes up harder, 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 bang! Just stays at that stiffness. So it gives you a nice compliant exit to the corner. Uh, this, is, this is a second rate here with a different, um, that's a thousand pound spring, this is say 800 um, on the secondary. So again, you see it coming up, coming up, bang, cracks off. Coming up where a linear just keeps building, 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 building. This is why the dual spring was so cool. And if you knew how to operate it correctly and set it up, man, it was such an advantage. And Triple Eight were the master of that. Now, like I said, they've gone to this linear spring, one spring. So all that sits in the back of the car, this is the linear graph. Now I'll take you back, 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 back into when I came into supercars. We were running this progressive spring. So this is like a, a two-stage spring in one. And we were running this on the, I want a couple of Bathursts actually on this spring. Uh, very cool, actually a lot of road cars run this now. It sort of runs in opposite. We used to run this in the front of the car because what this spring does is very soft initially. You see it's got a very soft rate and then ramps up really hard. That's because it's got different size coils. You see here the coil is very thin then it gradually builds up to a real thick coil as well. So completely different, not so good in the back of the car. We didn't run them in the back, we ran them in the front because what they did is give you a soft turning and then once it loaded, it went into the hard rate and then you really stabilise the car. So again, this sort of systems have been around for a while. I hope that's explained it. Um, it's a very easy system, but it's also very complex at the same time. But they've eliminated all this, all this out the window. One spring, happy days, and that was the right move for the category as well. Cheers.